entitled Karen Mom is Obligated to My Money. Abbreviations here for this post, KM equals, Karen Mom, AD equals, Awesome Dad, Op equals, Me. To start, I'm a recently unemployed soon-to-be 24-year-old female. Finding work is a hassle in 2022 with a lot of dead ends in terms of getting interviews and nothing happening afterwards which is normal, but what am I to do? I'm patient enough with waiting so it doesn't bother me much to have much free time. Summarizing KM who is 67, being retired and divorced from AD who is 68 after 23 years of marriage back in 2018, they both came to the US from Russia back in 60s mid-early 70s and got together around that time because KM had a rough life living in a cramped apartment in the city with her extended family, AD offered to help her with finances and that's where the story started. And ended. Over two decades, KM's attitude towards AD changed drastically once I was born, going from loving him to hating him because he doesn't have enough money, constantly getting new jobs every few years and always insults him about it when she has the chance whether in the house or out in public. AD cares very deeply about me and my well-being while still working a 9 to 5 since I'm still taking small steps to getting the usual things aka my license, my own job, my own apartment, etc. For context, the divorce was messy when it came to money specifically, AD lost so much because he had to give it to KM, more than he could ever make in his entire life. We're a middle class family. One house in the city that AD is trying to keep and the other that I'm currently living in with KM that she owns now since kicking AD out of the property lease that they both paid for together here in the suburbs, who is also struggling to keep it afloat. The difference is how KM has powerful peers who would do her bidding with a drop of a hat and lend their shoulders for her to cry on when things got unstable over how AD, who is in financial turmoil not having any misery in his life, me and the family pup being the main source of joy. Luckily though, he is slowly getting back on his feet and I'm happy for that. For all the weird, wrong reasons KM believes that I'm not loving her enough as a mother, so she spoils me with fancy once-in-a-lifetime vacations and cruises to get me to show off affection. The argument is that she does this for herself, not me. I never get to say my opinion on where I would want to go because I'd be shamed by her for refusing to go on such a wonderful trip with a loving family member such as her. Maybe I'm just going through a phase, but I don't seem to remember what she did that was considered loving. She broke up the family due to her hieratics for one thing, she's emotionally, maybe mentally, unstable, always threatening to be physical and makes last-minute hasty decisions on anything and everything I do. She once told me a few months ago directly that if AD ever tried to help me with money benefits, she'd purchase a gun and kill AD in front of me when he comes over. Apart from that, she opens his mail, mostly ads or insurance claims, throwing it away, blaming him for not changing addresses fast enough. I confronted her about this wanting to get the cops involved, and she was scared almost offended that I would look into it myself to be against her for her actions. It's unbelievable that AD doesn't want me to take matters into my own hands, it makes me sad that she can get away with this. As for me, I pay for my own expenses, tech, entertainment and food on occasion while being on a budget. What does she do? Complain, threaten, complain some more. I should also add she takes money from me for small things, saying her infamous four-letter phrase, I have no money. Yet she has everything because of AD, the house, especially. She buys groceries every day, new cars, pays utility bills, which she cries about like a baby, takes lavish vacations and cruises to name a few but lives off her rich as cheaply as she can get. Remember when I said KM spoils me for my undying affection? Well, she did it again buying tickets for me and her without my consent on a cruise scheduled for fall of this year from Rome to Israel. This really bothered me, not because of the location, but because our last cruise together ended in a disaster last month over Mexico according to her when I refused to do anything with her as if she didn't exist. The room was a single bed with a couch and balcony overlooking the sea. You can guess where I slept for the week. The couch was comfortable once it was converted into a bed, thank you lovely cabin steward. I did my own thing during the cruise, she did hers. No fights necessary, but I lied, the main issue is that I didn't want to share the bed with her. When you're a young adult like me, You value your personal space over your parents' decision so that's what I did, plus she snores loud, and she didn't like it one bit. This new cruise would probably end up like the last one, if not worse just because of her overall power-hungry authority over me. Fast forward to today, KM told me over the weekend to make up my mind and decide if I would go with her on the cruise in the fall. I of course said no I don't want to go, I'd rather stay home and continue focusing on finding work, maybe getting my license finally to which, she agreed saying that it was a reasonable choice. A while later, she calls me downstairs, and this little exchange happens, KM, you know what, I decided. You're going to this cruise with me. Up, why? I thought that I said I didn't want to go. KM, yeah, but if you don't go, 
I lose money on the voucher I paid for, you can pay me back for it, it's only $900. Op, alright, fine, I'll go. Nothing too bad right? Well, it gets worse. This happened only a few hours after that exchange once she got back home from the store, KM, I've had it. I'll just take the money from you and go on this trip myself. I don't want to go with you. Op, you can't be serious, I already made up my mind that I'd go so I don't lose my money, why the sudden 180? KM, just because. And I was going to surprise you with a trip to that ugly European boyfriend of yours. But forget it. You ruined my mood. My boyfriend is not ugly, he's the sweetest, well-mannered man that can be. But let's continue, op, for what reason? I don't understand why you're being so rash about this. KM, because you didn't get me a present for Mother's Day. Op, excuse me, but I forgot, and I never get you anything because of how emotionally abusive you are with your threats. KM, when have I been abusive? Did AD put you to this? Stop conspiring with him against me. I'm not doing anything wrong to you. I love you op. Op, I don't have to remind you of the past, also I wanted to surprise you and tell you that I got a job for Mother's Day, so I didn't want to say anything. KM, don't surprise me anymore. Just leave you idiot, I don't want to see you. Having the threat of me losing my assists due to her unnecessary pettiness, I texted and called AD, Op, hey AD, I didn't want to bother you while you were working. I just wanted to talk. AD, hey. No problem Op, what's wrong? You sounded concerned over text. Op, yeah, I just wanted to tell you that KM is threatening to take my money over a cruise voucher that I didn't ask for another one of those vacations. AD, oh yeah? Where to? Op, Rome to Israel, we were going in the fall, and she has to pay in a few days. AD, lovely place. You should really reconsider. Op, she didn't give me an option too, I had a fight with her just now and said that I'd go with her, so I don't lose money when she suddenly changed her mind threatening to take it anyway. AD, wait, does she have access to your money? Op, yeah, dot she only takes small amounts because we go out for manicures and to pay for the pup's insurance. It's for the family, right? AD, she shouldn't have any access to it. It's for you and me only. A few minutes later AD asks me to confront KM, she looks pieced, like tomato red pieced. KM, I saw what AD did. Why did he take the money? Op, because you shouldn't take what's not yours, especially such a high amount from me when I can't pay for it myself. KM, what the hell do you mean? That ticket has your name on it and I paid for it. So you owe me. Op, yelling tone I don't owe you anything. You wouldn't let me decide on whether I would want to go, when I did say that I would go, you went on a hissy fit about not wanting me to go. So, I took action. KM, curses at me in Russian you idiot. You retard. You BTCH. I can't believe that you would betray me like this. Op, you get what you deserve for your constant threats. You want to complain? Talk to AD's lawyers. KM, Op, get back here and call AD so I can get my money back. I have none. Op. Op. Things might have slowly settled down now, but after that, I cried, a lot, texting boyfriend about everything that happened. He was massively in shock over how KM treats me and suggested that I seriously have to move out so he can help me back on my feet. I'm going to once I have work to pay for accommodation somehow whenever it comes around so that I can better support us and not have to rely only on boyfriend like KM did with AD all those years ago. I've been living in a seemingly toxic environment that only me and AD can clearly see while KM is abusing her power on me in the dark and negatively affecting my mental health for years. I would consider finding therapy but I'm not too sure about if it would really have a good influence on me. I don't know what to do or how long I can keep up in terms of sanity before everything comes crashing down on me again with KM's threats. I'm not good with ending posts, so thanks for looking at mine and reading it.